Hi, today we're going to talk about engine mount adapters. Now what's an engine mount adapter? Well, so you have a, a fairly good sized rocket and it has a big engine mount in it for say like an Estes D engine. But when you get out to the field, you discover that either the wind's blowing too, uh, too strong or that the field's too small and if you fly with a big engine, you're going to lose the rocket. So you decide to use a smaller engine. But obviously the smaller engine just kind of flops around in there. So what we need to do is to create some kind of fixture to hold this smaller engine so that we can put it into the engine of the rocket. And that is called an engine adapter and it allows us to put that in the rocket. And so now it doesn't flop around and now we can fly the rocket. So how are we going to build this? All right, let me put this away here. We're going to start by creating a tube, and this tube is the length of the engine. I'll show you how I, I got the length, plus two rings. So if you put those together, that is the length of that tube. So now, after you do that, now I want you to take a pen and mark the middle of that tube, and you're going to cut that. You want to cut it right in the middle, and I've already done that here. Now, if you need instructions on how to cut tubes, uh, go to the Apogee Components website. That's www.apogeerockets.com. Go up there to the Downloads uh, menu and scroll down to Advanced Construction Videos. And on that page, you will find how to cut tubes in half. And then we're going to take our glue um, and we're going to glue one centering ring on the back of the tube. Now this one is going to be flush with the end of the tube and this is going to be the nozzle end of the tube. So I'm just going to take some glue, put it in there, slide it around and then stick that in there and we're going to allow that glue to dry. Now, we're going to put another ring, see now that, remember that I said this is the nozzle end, so there's the nozzle of the rocket motor. Put that in there like that. And this we're just putting in here temporarily, and we're also, it kind of allows us to, if there's any glue on the inside, to get that out of there, because we don't want that interfering with the motor. Now we're going to take the other end, slide it on the front end of the rocket, take another ring, and we're going to glue that right up against the end of the uh, rocket engine and the, the reason we have the rocket engine in there it allows us to put that ring right up against the front end because we don't want the rocket to slide back or forth in the in that tube and it doesn't take a lot of glue here but just make sure it's all the way around the perimeter and then slide that in there like that and give it a good squeeze um, I like to twist it around so that if any glue squeezed on the front end like it did um, it will, it will wipe off and then we can wipe it off with a paper towel. Okay. Okay, so now we have the two tubes. Remember, this is our back end. Now, on the front end, it might be recessed in a little bit, depending on how well you cut the tube. All right. Now we're going to take some three other rings. And we're going to glue one at the front end, all the way so that it butts up to the front end of the tube. Okay. Just like that. And wipe off any excess glue. Okay, then we're going to take one, and, and these other two rings are going to go on the back end. Remember, this is the nozzle end. And um, now you could put this front ring pretty much anywhere in there. Um, what we want it to do, though, let me show you this. So when we got them together, where are you going to put that ring? Well. If we take that, uh, I'm taking the back ring off. We got our nozzle end. When you slide that in there, we want that middle ring to be somewhere inside that tube, like that. Okay. 
So it can be pretty much anywhere as long as it goes inside that tube because that ring is going to keep that tube centered in there. Now, now so I'm going to go ahead and glue that up. I'm going to put it right there. Let me check one last time. Okay, so it's inside. That's good. And if it's a ways back from the from the front of that tube, we can actually put a piece of tape around it to keep the whole thing together. Now, you don't have to have the tape there, but it helps to pull it out of the rocket once the flight is over. Now, where's this back ring go? So when we put that back in the rocket, that back ring has to be positioned so that the engine hook, when we slide it all the way in, that engine hook just clips over the back end. Now, I don't have a pen here, but it looks to be about a half of an inch, and I'm just going to glue it in place. I got a little bit of working time here because I'm just using regular white glue, wood glue. Okay, looks like I did have it in the right spot. All right. There we go. Now, let me show you one other little trick here before we finish up. Now, as you notice, if you look carefully inside the, uh, inside the tube, that the nozzle is pretty deep inside. Now, that's going to make it hard to put the igniter in the rocket. Um, so what you can do, you could use a thinner centering ring at the back end. And what that does is it pushes the nozzle closer to the end and then this side will be recessed further in. But it's pretty hard to make a, a ring like this. So what you can do is just do it like we did and then take a piece of sandpaper and sand it down until that ring on the inside is probably about an eighth of an inch thick. You want some thickness so that when the ejection charge goes off it doesn't kick the engine out, but not so thick that it's hard to get the igniter in. So there you go. Uh, that is the basic technique, and you can build these of pretty much any size. This is a mini engine, a 13 millimeter to an 18 millimeter adapter, and that will go into a rocket like this. Oops, I got it backwards, don't I? There we go. You gotta, you gotta remember which is going to be your back end. Um, so I like to, uh, I like to mark them. Um, nozzle end and front end, like I did on this one here. See, this one here I have nozzle end. So when you put them together, I know that the nozzle is going to be going down. But you'll figure it out pretty quick once you put your engine mount adapter together. So there you have it. Um, until next time, may the winds be light, may the sky be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true. I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Uh, state your name and then where you're from. I don't have anything to fly that in today. Whatever you want about Apple. My name's Ernie Puckett and I live in uh, Woodland Park, Colorado. And Apogee is about 20 miles from my house and they are very well equipped for buying up parts to build rockets. Uh, what I really like about Apogee is Roxim. So I can design and build my own rockets. And I flew three of those today, all of them successful.